Hello everyone, it's finally time to talk about Tilt of Load system and make some kind of review. And to be honest, this system disappoints me quite a lot. In my opinion, Tilda was in hurry to launch such product on the market. The idea behind this product is incredible, to provide us with a compact stabilization system for smooth cinematic movements, free camera movement and longer runtime with weight distribution on body thanks to spring arm and support vest. But no, none of this works out of the box. Let's start from the beginning. Possibilities of balancing this system out of the box was very disappointing for me. I must say right away that the original video tutorial from Tilta doesn't talk about a number of nuances what you can come across. Most often this is due to the behavior of gimbal itself, which is why you have to review a lot of videos from our creators in order to really understand the behavior and balancing process of this system. In addition, the balancing itself out of the box is possible only in one position, horizontal or vertical. In the second case, I didn't manage to achieve good behavior of the system. It's not stable, bends or collapses, and complicates the work process in every possible way. I had to think about the position of the post more than of filming process. With a horizontal position everything is much better, I won't talk about the balancing process in this video, because I don't consider this method to be successful. This system requires a number of significant improvements, after which the balancing process changes greatly. For now, let's imagine what you watched the tutorial and still managed to balance the horizontal position of the system. What do we have? First, the large size of the system. Secondly, even after balancing, you will have to exert a large amount of effort to keep the system level. Otherwise, the camera can simply shift to the left or right, which negatively affects the final product. The same thing happens when moving from top to bottom. The system always tilts somewhere. Always significantly weakens the work of operator. Weight distribution. For me, this was the main criterion when choosing this system. I liked the idea of distributing the load throughout the body, which was supposed to significantly increase the time of working with gimbal. Also, this system allows you to shoot both from top and bottom position without changing the position of your body, and the spring arm compensates for all micro movements during walking. But even here I faced some problems. The belt for supporting vest turned out to be useless, it's too long for my body, no matter how hard I try to adjust it, it still dangles freely. Lower back support, honestly, I still haven't figured out how it should work out of the box, it constantly presses my back and gives a lot of discomfort in my back after about an hour of work. And finally the vest, which should take on the main load and distribute it evenly throughout the body, however, in my opinion, it's too soft, which is why it constantly moves bends over and the distribution of the load on the body changes significantly. It has to be tightened a lot to keep it in place. When I first started using this system, I was very surprised by the fact that it simply doesn't lock in any way. Firstly, in such a loose state, it's very difficult to install the gimbal itself or the camera, because the post can simply tilt and fall, terribly damaging the equipment when you are using it. Secondly, in this position, it takes up quite a lot of space, especially if you are using the entire length of the post. I didn't use it in this way, but this fact must be taken into account when working. Thirdly, it's simply not safe to leave this system in such unsecured state. Of course, you can say that Tilta released a platform with which it can be held in upright position, and you will be absolutely right, but I am talking about a solution out of the box. As for the spring arm, it also doesn't have any fixation which of course causes a number of inconvenience. For example, if you want to put the system and change something, then you always have to remember about this arm, which can hurt you or someone nearby. In order to move around safely, you can put a spring arm under your hour arm, preferably holding it in one position. However, it's still uncomfortable, but quite an acceptable way if you need to do something with your equipment for a short period of time. Another thing you always need to keep in mind is the mount for joystick and the phone mount. It's also not fixed, which is why it simply falls and hits the post itself. In this way you can easily break your phone or additional accessories during work. Be careful, always hold it when removing the system from the spring arm. Are there any advantages? Worth noting the case, compactness and reliability of all systems which is actually very important. All components made of high-quality materials are pleasantly felt and manifest themselves in work. 
As for the system, it still fulfills its task. You get additional stabilization access because of the spring arm when working with gimbal. It removes the load from your hands, preferably increasing the operation time to about 2-3 hours out of the box. Thanks to the mount batteries, you can forget about the power supply for your gimbal and additional equipment. And most importantly, you discover a number of new possibilities while shooting, such as moving from the lowest point to the top. In addition, this system has a huge potential that you can easily realize with a number of simple improvements, and then this tool reveals itself on 100%. As I said in the beginning, it seems to me that Tilta was inherited to release this product to the market. As a result, for its operation, it requires to purchase additional accessories, such as solder support, mount, and make additional modifications to this system to unleash the full potential of it. I didn't have a goal to talk about the system negatively. No, I just want to share my real experience and problems that I came across. Very soon I will release a new video where I will talk about all my improvements and modifications to this system and how I coped with presented problems. Write your opinion in the comments and see you in the next video. Bye!